And a very good evening, everyone. Jeremy here on strategic.com.sg. And I'll be covering Singapore Airlines for this weekend's recap. Uh, not be covering the uh, Straits Times Index as there wasn't any significant change. However, there'll be an article on my blog, uh, which you can refer to for the levels to watch for the Straits Times Index. Now, back to Singapore Airlines. Uh, you can see uh, the chart essentially uh, data from 1988 and around 1988 it was trading at about two dollars and essentially peaked at fourteen dollars and 66 cents in 2000 thereafter during the tech crash it receded to about five dollars and then it bounced back and couldn't clear that last high at 1466 then Lehman brothers came it dipped down again to at about the $6 level. And thereafter, we had a breakdown and then sort of a downtrend uh, since uh, 2015. Now, if I put back uh, all my indicators for you, and I'm going to explain uh, the situation that we have today. So that particular downtrend started in 2015, 3rd of August, at about $7.05. And thereafter, the stock dropped to a low of $3.20. And essentially, we had buyers on the dip and there was a long signal issued at $5.45 uh, on the 15th of March, 2021 this year. So the target price that we are looking for is $7.05, which is essentially the breakdown level in 2015. Now, price has actually sort of traded in a range between four dollars and fifty cents and five fifty for about a dollar for almost uh, five to six months right now the good news is singapore airlines has managed to hold that toll at about five dollars uh, for the past uh, first half of this year and essentially we are starting to see a little bit of resilience uh, from the uh, staying above this uh, tankan line which is the fast moving line the yellow line as well as the kijun line which is this white line here. And these are lines from the Ichimoku cloud. All right. Now, uh, price trading above these two Tenkan and Kijun lines tend to uh, show a little bit of retracement uh, back to the upside if it holds this particular level. So this long signal on the 15th of March is still valid for now. And the target price of 705 will probably uh, be hit if price is able to uh, move up above this Ichimoku SSSB line, which sits at about $5.75. We would like to see price action uh, move above the Ichimoku SSSB line, hang around here, and then perhaps hit that $7.05. Now I'm going to go down one level to the weekly chart. So this is the weekly chart of uh, Singapore Airlines and you can see that initial drop uh, in 2018 with a short signal at $7.24. Uh, in 2018, 2nd of July, uh, targeting that $3.32 and we hit this low of $3.20 and we had a nice bounce up. And essentially, uh, zooming down to uh, recent 2020, 2021, uh, we had buyers on the dip right here with a long signal at $4 on the 16th of November last year during the uh, last election, targeting $7.05. We hit a high of about $5.72 and we uh, actually retraced back into the cloud. However, uh, looking at recent price action, you can see uh, that we had a nice price cluster building above this SSSB line, which is a good sign. Essentially, just like the monthly charts, you want to see price action cluster and uh, form and hold uh, above this uh, cloud line for it to essentially push up to this particular pivot at $5.72 which was the last high that was hit uh, at the beginning of the year. If this is successful, a brick above $5.72 will be able to see uh, a try for that $7.05 target on the monthly charts. So from the monthly uh, charts, you can see that there was a nice base formation uh, breaking that downtrend on the weekly charts, you also have a nice base formation above 
the Ichimoku cloud on the weekly and uh, sort of a building a base formation. And uh, on the dailies chart, which uh, most of you are quite familiar with uh, this particular long signal at $4.37 uh, on the 8th of February at 5.45 uh, gave quite a nice ride to about that $5.72 level. Pull back down and right now this particular range was formed and uh, there was a long signal uh, on the 6th of July 2021 at this uh, breakout of that super trend line, which is this uh, particular level right here. Now, this uh, signal is still valid for now, as long as the pivot of $4.81 is held on the super trend line. And essentially, you can also see characteristically uh, price action is above the Ichimoku cloud line. All right, so there's a long signal uh, on the 6th of July last month at the $5.15 level. So if we can hold this pivot at $4.81, thereafter we could break that particular pivot on the weeklies at $5.74 and thereafter $7.05. Now zooming in one level and uh, one further level down is the four hour charts and uh, on the four hourly charts you can see uh, the stock is trying its best to break above that pivot of $5.14 after this particular weakness here and pull back uh, where the stock hit about $4.95. Immediately, we found buyers above the Ichimoku cloud. Same story right here, forming a little bit of a toe here. And if we can break that $5.14 level, then perhaps you can break that $5.74 uh, level on the weeklies and then hit our target of $7.05. All right, guys, so this is the bottom line, all right? So the uh, monthly charts show a nice base formation forming right here and uh, currently holding at the level of about $5.04, initial target of $7.05. And before we get to this particular target of $7.05, price action has to break this particular pivot at $5.72, which was the last high formed in April. Uh, and if you are able to break this pivot, we can hit that $7.05. And for uh, the guys, uh, investors who want to buy in on Singapore Airlines, we do have a long signal currently active on the daily chart at $5.15 on the 6th of July. Uh, so buying around this particular level uh, with a stop loss, on the pivot at four dollars and 81 cents uh, as a protective stop loss long signal at 515 targeting seven dollars and five cents all right thanks for watching guys and uh, stay tuned for the next video